and welcome Leo Rose Burnett here mind body soul balance this is your October 2021 tarot reading it is a general reading so it's trust yourself what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome love your support now there is a competition draw this month so there's amazing oracle decks up for grabs to enter all you need to do is subscribe to my channel this month hit that subscribe button and you'll go into the draw to win the beautiful Sacred Rebels Oracle Gorgeous Deck by Lana Fairchild. And for those that follow me regularly, I'll be looking for a very positive community member. You'll go into the draw to win the Enchanted Map Oracle, another amazing deck. So winners will be announced at the end of the month on my channel. And suggest you say hi to me in the comments box below if you're new. Grab my attention. Uh, certainly help your chances of winning, I'm going to say. <laughs> And if you'd like to get hold of the extended version of this reading, it is available already. And uh, all you need to do is hit the join button on my channel or there's a link in the description box below. Only $5.99 a month to become an ex a VIP member on my channel. It will get you the extended version of the monthly reading, the mid-monthly reading, as well as a bonus love reading for VIP members every month. Uh, your videos come out first and they're also ad-free, so lots of bonuses. Mm -hmm. And they're a mix of intuitive tarot, transformational coaching, very inspiring, motivating, and we dive a whole lot deeper into your energies than the free readings on my channel. So if you want to invest in yourself every month, go and check those out. My personal readings are open if you need extra guidance and support. Attune to your own energy at this time. There's also a special in October. You can get $20 off my renewal package, which includes a one-hour personal reading plus a one-hour distance Reiki energy healing session. Grab your coupon code. It's on this video. And uh, there's also a booking link which will tell you more about it. All right, let's get started, Leo. So we're diving straight into predictions with the uh, Angel Wisdom Tarot. And let's see what's coming towards you. Oh, you got the King of Water. Very trustworthy, dependable, love partner, someone you can completely trust, a very solid romantic relationship in your life. Oh, that's kind of nice to kick start off with. Uh, you've also got the Six of Water, which is reminiscing about the past, particularly right back to childhood. You can have someone coming back to you from your childhood, whether it be a friendship, whether it be an old romance from the past. Oh, darling, it's all about love, 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 love. You got the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cups. Beautiful, happy, beautiful relationship, marriage, children, happy home, happy family, a lot of contentment. You've also pulled the Hermit. So Spirit's saying you need to take some quiet time within Leo. Do your spiritual practices. Have that beautiful quiet time with self to regenerate your energy. Yeah, because there's a lot here about balance, um, bringing yourself into balance. You've got Archangel Zedekiel there. Uh, it can also be about creating partnerships with others, particularly around your goals, your dreams, that contain a lot of balance and compromise where you're working really well together. Oh, you've also got the Eight of Water, a lot of water energy coming out. Uh, the desire to move on make big life changes he's leaving all the empty cups behind in the trunk he's taking his faithful companion with him his dog he's just got one cup in his little uh knapsack here yeah so it can represent moving home relocating trying new things yeah you've also got the emperor so he's got his sword in one hand, he's holding the world in the other. So cutting through anything that doesn't serve you, particularly distractions, procrastination, having a big vision about what you want to achieve in your life, next steps in your path, applying a lot of discipline, structure, willpower, organisation to what you're doing is going to help you with your success. Okay, you've also got the Ten of Fire, which is working too hard, stress-related health concerns and need to bring more balance in your life, which is why you got the hermit here and the, and the message to balance, yeah. Uh, you've also got the King of Fire. So stepping into more of a leadership role, some of you in the spotlight, public speaking, being on stage, coaching, teaching, acting. Mm-hmm. 
and you've also got the three of water so much watery energy beautiful sense of celebration with family with friends um, you know invitations to social events it can be celebrating birth announcements weddings graduations so a lot of connection to others beautiful love connections all right let's put some guidance from the muse tarot oh wow you got the four of inspiration again represents celebration with your family your friendships beautiful connections with your relationships in your life and you've also got death which represents rebirth yeah so leaving the old behind brand new fresh start in your life a lot of personal growth transformation leaving behind things that never served you in terms of things that held you back you're finally breaking free of that leo which is awesome mm -hmm. wow so much here about your friendships you've got the uh three of emotions which is this beautiful connection to your friendships so strongly coming through and you've got the five of materials now if i bring it really close right she's laying down kind of feeling hopeless so some of you may be worrying about your finances experiencing financial constraints it's not coming through very strongly i've got to say so it could just be fears coming up for you spirit saying there's open doors opportunities behind you you can't see them when you're in this kind of mental state an emotional state you got two coming out here you got the queen of voices which is um in terms of your leadership speaking your truth when you speak your truth act with integrity despite whether or not people want to hear the truth because a lot of people don't right you're actually going to help people on your path and you've got the aid of materials so being known for your expertise your wisdom your experience um, particularly in terms of your career let's put some messages from your angels oh you got vision it says a positive outcome requires a positive vision visualize everyone involved in this situation surrounded by light and love make sure to include yourself also your love has the power to influence and transform the current events um i've got to say leo it feels like you're in this beautiful energy when it comes to family and friends so you know if there's people around you that need support or going through a hard time i've got to suggest that you will be their rock at this time be very good for you to help them out mm -hmm. Um, you've got Archangel Uriel, a great spiritual transformation is occurring both in our world and in your life. It is the union of heaven and earth, heart and spirit and matter, heart and mind unite in harmonious balance. So letting go of any inner conflict, being in flow with who you are. And you've got Archangel Metatron. Wow, it's very similar. It says, I'm your link between heaven and earth, between your humanity and divinity. I'm here to help you heal the conflict that exists between your heart and mind. Feel me in your hearts and thoughts. Through oneness, there is love. Two cards there to represent overcoming inner conflict. Yeah. All right. Let's put some guidance from the Nature's Whispers Oracle, what you need to focus on right now. I kind of feel this is going to be super interesting. <laughs> Oh, you've got seek beauty. Number 44 is a message straight from spirit. So doing those things that uh, self-care, self-nurturing, spending some money on luxury items for yourself to boost you up, very much about self-love. Yeah, it can be creating a beautiful oasis at home that you feel beautiful in, that lights you up. Uh, you've also got the message to get to higher ground. So don't get bogged down in problems. Um, get above things and look at them from a different perspective, a higher perspective. Oh, you've got a potential gateway opening up. Dare I say it's in the shape of a heart, so it could be to love. <laughs> it could. Oh, it could be to whatever's the stirrings in your heart opening up. It's going to attract it to you, manifest what you want. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Enchanted Map Oracle, which is the deck up for grabs this month. All right, you've got two that want to come out. Uh, you've got education. So some of you may 
be studying or want to study something that's going to help you get onto your path or enhance what you're doing. It's also about being teachable, yeah, so not thinking that you know everything, being open to learning new things. And you're going through this amazing metamorphosis, yeah, massive transformation going on. Lots of butterflies there. Whenever we go through that kind of personal growth, it's always to bring more blessings into our life. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Divine Circus Oracle. What is it Leo needs to know at this time? Clear guidance. Thank you. Ah, you've pulled the good geisha. Quite an interesting message on this one. It says, Leo, you are clever. You know how to play an impressive game of strategy to win approval and gain allies. Even without noticing it consciously, you can sense what people want. Sometimes you're so good at showing others what they want that you forget how beautiful you are when you are just being you. But your time has come, the time to unveil the one real you and attract the allies who are not interested in what you can do for them, but who love you for who you really are. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> You're ready to opt out of a game that most people play unconsciously. It's a game of image and appearance at the expense of the true self. So many people are used to playing this game, they no longer realize they're doing it. They live behind masks that appeal to others, but slowly starve their authentic self, denying it the opportunity to experience being seen and to receive real love. Any promise of success, love or wealth that begins with you contorting yourself into something that you are not is a false promise. It cannot deliver anything worthy of you. You're not one of those fearful souls, but you know what it's like to have been caged in an invisible prison a way of thinking and being that's not good for you. In times gone by, your soul has been shackled, your voice silenced, your true beauty hidden under more appropriate and acceptable guises, your intentions misunderstood and your words misconstrued. You've been like a beautiful wild creature captured as though somehow you could be tamed and changed. Fortunately, your sacred rage and defiance has rattled the cage of the past, forcing the door to swing open. You can and must continue to set yourself free. Be free from the expectations, the opinions and projections of others. Be free even from the self-image that you are convinced yourself you were supposed to be. And be unafraid to discover the depths of your own being coming to life. And if you do not, you shall bind yourself to a life far too bland for the colour and majesty of your soul. Being what another wants you to be is a false promise of love and you're destined for love, real, wild, pure and true. Make sure you start by giving it to yourself. Then you can share it with others and receive it from others too. So being very true to who you are, I mean, there's so much, I think, you know, even in social media, looking a certain way and putting everything out there on display and everything that goes on behind the scenes is quite different to what you're portraying on social media, yeah? Hopefully you're being honest, real and authentic. There's a lot of it that's not, yeah? Um, changing who you are to be loved, don't do that, yeah? That's going to crush your soul over time, yeah? Because what happens when you do that, right? One, you're not happy within yourself and the person you're trying to impress probably doesn't love you enough for you to be with them. Mm -hmm. Just saying, my loves. Um, there's a really cool healing ritual here. It says, imagine, visualize, feel or pretend there is a soft, white, fluffy cloud in front of you. It's like a massive cleansing puff made of white light. You can imagine, visualize, feel or pretend that you can hold this fluffy cleansing puff in your hand and wash yourself from top to toe. You gently scrub yourself with this white light cleansing puff and you wipe away anything that is not true for you. It just wipes off just as if you were scrubbing a window clean from dirt so the light can be seen through it clearly. And if you need to focus on a particular part of your body or mind then make some extra scrubbing motions with your invisible cleansing cloud in those places. Do this for as long as feels good and then say just listen. From this day I wash away anything untrue I've had to do or say. I choose to free myself to just be me in all of my beautiful
crazy divinity. And it says you can repeat this anytime you feel like you've been hiding your light or playing games because you forgot to be yourself or how gorgeous you truly are. As a very brief affirmation, it says it's so good to be me. I think that's a good one for you to remember, yeah? It's so good to be me. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below and how it resonated with you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Absolutely helps my channel. Plus, you'll go straight into the draw for the competition. Now, we're diving straight into the extended version next. So don't forget, if you want to get hold of that, hit the join button or the link down below. Um, you know, there's this amazing metamorphosis going on right now, Leo, with you in certain aspects of self and your life. Um, there is so much coming through about this connection with your friendships, your family. Uh, I'm going to put the Ten of Cups here because there's this beautiful contentment in your personal life. Uh, you know, if it's not there right now, my loves, it's coming in because we're going to put the trustworthy love there for sure. Um... Let me have a look what else. Uh, some of you making big life changes, yeah, ready to take a leap of faith. And we will have a look at those of you that are stuck in states of negativity, worrying about your finances, seeing what guidance is going to come through for you on that around career finances, um, how to move through any stuck states. We'll have a look at your chakra balance, high guidance from spirit. So those of you leaving us right now, being awesome to have you here. Make sure to come back again. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading, reach out or grab your coupon code to get $20 off the renewal package. All the info is on here and down below. And VIP members, those going into the extended, hang around. We're diving straight into general energies next. All right, Leo, we're going to pull you a central energy from the Journey of Love Oracle. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, you've pulled. Shifting universes. Um, certainly big changes going on. Number seven represents healing again. Uh, let's pull you up the guidance. It says, Leo, you're blessed with an opportunity to change gears, to change your life, to jump on the fast train. You're being invited to fling yourself off the repetitive treadmill way of life and into a dance through nature to be utterly confused and delighted to accept the way of divine trust even with its chaos the instability that precedes all genuine creativity so here it is your get out of jail free card your opportunity to make a mess and find out what you didn't know what you were looking for you're being nudged and if you wish you can let yourself go down the strange path opening up before you without knowing what it is even as you take your next step your universe is shifting and stranger more beautiful worlds beckon why not go there where you haven't been before you'll find yourself there and realize that you are more than what you thought you once were so this oracle brings you a message if you're thinking of changing location jobs houses or attitudes trying something new especially if it's unusual for you the universe is supporting you now is the time to accept what you didn't accept wow so much in alignment with renewal going on yeah and there's a poem here called the dream it says the taste and touch of you within thoughts lingers on a sweet caress you come to me no sounds distract the night's embrace of innocence the artist's brush across my lips the palette rich in colors deep to flow with feelings now renewed and blend as one in breath and hue entwined our bodies bathe in love and weep with longing slow release emotions song and soft refrain awaken dreams that never cease oh darling so gorgeous oh so beautiful all right let's have a look at four key areas of focus with the sacred destiny oracle and pull you lots of clarifiers Oh, you've got healing chaos. There's so much here about, you know, things going on that are going to bring these new beginnings in. There's surrounded by butterflies, this tornado. So not fighting any changes in your life. Oh, you've got the message again, you need to take some time out in solitude, your quiet time to ref 
to rejuvenate self, a little clarity on things. And the message to have patience, particularly self-timing of things, how fast things are going to happen. Oh, and you've got the ability to manifest and attract miracles at this time. Oh, what an auspicious time for you at this moment, Leo. You amp that up with some crystals. All right, let's put you some clarifiers around healing chaos. What is it you need to know? All right, you've got two here. Uh, you've got an attachment here. So part of healing chaos is releasing attachments from yourself that hold you back, that constantly come up for you. Uh, and you've got the angel of love here. So some of you in terms of the past, if you're looking for new love and it's not in your life right now because it's an amazing love here, yeah, it's cutting all the cords and ties to the past, just letting it go. Yeah, because you've got walking away. It's time to walk away from things that no longer serve you, old ways of being, experiences that didn't work out. Yeah, because for some of you, it's making you feel tied up and stuck or constantly does, yeah? About shifting that about self. All right, let's have a look at solitude. Oh, you got the daughter romance sitting under the angel of love. It's going to open up for you if you want it to open. So put some time and tension into love if you're looking for love, spirit saying. What else does Leo need to know? Thank you. Oh, you got the daughter value opening, money flying through the door, and it's come out hand in hand with the root chakra. So your sense of security, stability. So there will be this beautiful shift in your finances for those of you that are feeling like this, a little stuck around your money, yeah? Uh, you've got to take a leap of faith, go after new opportunities that are coming towards you because it's going to open up the door to love, open up the door to your money flow. All right, let's have a look at having patience. Oh, you got this beautiful happy family here. Whatever family means to you, it's come out again. Uh, you got your throat chakra here. So speaking your truth, standing up for yourself. In terms of love, spirit's saying you need to be more open with your feelings, what you want, and what you're looking for, because it's directly related to love. And you've got the garden and the gate. Again, feeling a little bit tied up and stuck, directly related to your coin. And spirit's saying you need to walk away from that state of being, how you're looking at things, feeling about things. Yeah, because right under the root chakra, you've got cornucopia coming in. Success on every level, prosperity, happiness, joy, love, family. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this attachment. Guidance on this attachment. Now, Spirit's saying you're on this amazing journey of transformation. So part of that transformation is just letting go of all things that didn't work for you. Uh, and a need for you to build up your vitality, have a good focus on your health, your nutrition, your fitness, building up your um, sense of wellness. Let's have a look at your miracles coming in, ability to manifest miracles at this time. Oh, you got the sun coming out. Beautiful positive shift in energy. Your ideas, your projects being blessed, everything coming together for you. And you got the message to rely on your strength. You're stronger than you think you are. Whatever you're going through right now is leading you to more. Uh, you've got the message to do some journaling, which is going to help you release anxiety, stress, worry, um, and have a clear plan strategy to move yourself forward. And you've got your emotions here, your sacral chakra. So absolutely a need for you to ma balance and manage your emotions. That's entirely up to you, Leo. And you've got the temple path here. Your angels, your spirit guides are absolutely watching over you at this time, helping you with your path. Helping you manifest what you want. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance deck. Having a look at the top row, all about healing chaos, massive transformation going on. Walking away from anything that no longer serves you. Uh, you got Mau Mother Earth, so spending time out in nature would be great for you. Some of your earth angels do your part to look after Mother Earth and animals. And you've got white Tara sensitivity, increasingly sensitive at this time, particularly emotionally, <laughs> Tara say Leo. 
uh, to negative people, harsh environments, which means you just didn't take that time out for self and rejuvenate yourself, yeah, a bit of a buffer. And you've absolutely got a true love coming into your life. Universe trying to deliver an amazing love to you. It's not already in your life. All right, let's have a look at taking time in solitude. All the doors opening to love, to your money. You got, is our undying love, the love you shared wasn't wasted. So those of you that have to release old things in terms of connections, relationships that didn't work out, Spirit's saying you didn't waste your time in that. Don't beat yourself up. Don't second guess your decisions. Just let it go and move forward. Um, if you physically lost someone from your world, which it doesn't really feel like it, they felt your love, yeah, you can communicate with them at this time. And Spirit's saying you just need to trust yourself. Your inner wisdom, take the steps you're guided to take. You know what to do, Leo. In relation to love, in relation to money, opportunities coming in. Let's have a look at having patience. You've got your beautiful, happy family here. Speaking your truth, your cornucopia. Getting out of states where you're holding yourself stuck. Um, Spirit's saying doing creative things would be really good for you at this time, whether it's music, whether it's art. And you've got Green Tara start delegating, asking others for help, not doing everything yourself, particularly at home with the family. And to get near bodies of water if you can, it's going to be very soothing and rejuvenating for you. So add in nature near water if you can. Or both. All right, let's have a look at your miracle coming in, the sun coming out, managing your emotions, spirit watching over you. Uh, you got issue of medicine woman. So some of you, guy or girl, have got energy healing ability. So the um, temple path can be following a path of light and love. Yeah. Oh, my God, darling. Third message to keep yourself outside. Just in this reading, third message. And so we're saying you've absolutely got prosperity coming in, big shift in your fortune. Yeah. Prosperity and true love. Oh, awesome. Just awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put you some guidance with the uh, crystal reading deck. Having a look at this top row, all about healing chaos, massive transformation you're going through. Focus on your health, your well-being, sense of being a bit sensitive, true love coming in. Yeah, absolutely brand new beginnings want to happen for you. Um massive new beginnings and a big focus on your life purpose at this time so some of you are making major changes around your life path let's have a look at taking quiet time out for self letting go of the past the doors that want to open for you love money oh you've got tanzanite clarity you are going to get more clarity about moving forward and there's some inner conflict going on i mean that came out twice in your predictions so you need to clear the inner conflict between heart and mind. Oh, Spirit saying just to have courage at this time. Rely on your courage, your strength, because you've got solar sight peace. There will be a renewal of peace in your world. Everything's coming together for you. Whether you can see it now or not, it's coming together. Let's have a look at having patience. There's a whole lot here about asking others for help. Your cornucopia coming in, your beautiful, happy family. Moving from stuck states. Oh, you got Ruby Spirit saying you're absolutely going to shine, Leo. So beautiful. And you need to put healthy boundaries in place with people around your time and energy. I don't sense any conflict with others. It's just you managing your own energy and getting others to help you out more, particularly if you're someone that bends over backwards to do everything for everyone. It's draining you, Leo Spirit saying. You need to take some time for self. Let's have a look at your miracles, which include abundance. <laughs> the sun coming out, spirit watching over you. Oh, you got fairy stone fertility, so perfect time to start new projects, ideas, career paths, opportunities, and everything's leading you to success, spirit saying everything. All right, let's put some guidance from the Messenger Oracle. Oh, you got make the sacrifice. So you've got to put the effort in, the hard work in to create to co-create with the universe what you want. Whether that's 
putting yourself out there for love to find a love partner um, certainly related to your coin and to challenge your perception the way you're looking at things relationships that didn't work out places where you're feeling stuck you've got to look at it in a different way more positivity and optimism here yeah, because you've got that goal the old release the past release old ways of being And trust in magic. Trust that spirit's helping you. Got your back. Trying to help you manifest prosperity and true love. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at your chakra balance. So, I mean, mostly what's coming through is your root chakra, your sacral chakra. Oh, your friends have come out again. Wow, such a strong connection with your friends at this time. That's your fourth or fifth message about connecting with your friends. Uh, journaling's come out again. So that would be very helpful for you at this time to clear energies, get very clear on what you want. And vitamin therapy would be really good for your physical body at this time. High antioxidant diet would be great too. Let's have a look at your spiritual guidance, which is who you're connected to in the spirit realm at this time, divine gifts and talents. Well, you've got the white feather. So that means simplifying things. So not making your plans so big that they're so complex that you feel stuck and overwhelmed right what are your next steps that's all you need to know um really getting focused about where you need to spend your time and energy versus doing everything for everything everyone else what's important to you at this time and you've got naturopathy so some of you gifted in that aspect if it's a path you want to follow for others it would be really good for your physical body and you've got the owl which is seeing the truth in situations trusting your wisdom all right, let's put some guidance around your life path. Oh, you've got natural therapies. So some of you definitely gifted in natural therapies. That's come out three times now. Oh, and some of you easily distracted and procrastinating right now. Not very helpful, Leo. <laughs> it's not, darlings. You've got to be more focused and organized. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a conscious choice and your communication skills are one of your best assets i mean you're surrounded by friends and family right now they love you to be sterile say not only in your personal life but also in your career all right let's put you some guidance from the pegasus oracle highest level of guidance for a leo at this time Uh, you pull the Pegasus of Vega. There's so much beautiful, you know, light coming from the stars there. Connection to spirit. Let's pull you up the guidance. It did come out with another one. I was checking which one was more relevant, but this energy feels just perfect for you. It says Leo. Beloved spirit guide Pegasus descends on the vibrational blessings of the star Vega. You're guided to focus not on what is being said so much on what is being done. You're encouraged to listen for the truth behind appearances and beneath words. Trust your intuitive sense of what is real, reliable and healthy for you. You've been granted healing from Vega, which helps align with your inner soul note or frequency. And your psychic sensitivity is heightened at this time. And you're learning how different frequencies enhance or distort your own. No judgment is required. Every note has a place in the music of the spheres. But some adjustments may be needed so that your soul song can ring true. And if something no longer feels good for you, you're invited to change it. The more self-aware you are, the more you can enhance your vibration through your choices. This will strengthen your soul note and allow you to bring yourself back into harmony more readily when the world intrudes with discordant notes. Embrace the changes in attitude and behavior that are naturally happening for you. These are the consequences of a soul frequency recalibration. You will enjoy becoming more of who you are and your tolerance for energies that distract you from your true note will decrease. This in turn will help you cleanse unhelpful influences from your life. Trust in the changes taking place and know they're good for you can mean clearing out your circle of those people that are unhelpful unsupportive um 
clearing your life out of things that distract you, uh, news media that's negative, that's influencing how you feel, all that kind of stuff. Bad habits, <laughs> darlings. Mm -hmm. Procrastination. Mm -hmm. All right, there's an affirmation here. It says, Beloved Pegasus of the pure frequencies of Vega, gratitude fills my heart for the recalibration of my being into truthful resonance. I embrace your gifts of clarity, relief, peace, and authenticity. I welcome these gifts of divine healing for the spiritual benefit of all beings. Perfect message for your reading, I've got to say. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to your feedback, your comments down below. Hit the like button, absolutely helps my channel. Reach out for a personal reading, attune to your own energy and circumstances if you feel like you need one. Grab your coupon code if you want to get $20 off the renewal package this month, valid to the end of the month. Take it easy, my loves, for now. Much love, much light. Namaste.